today you are still next to the sport. Which is the, the most important ingredient that kept you being here today? Well, uh, first I started up, you know, 50 years ago with the sport. But the first 10 years was all about me. I was only thinking about myself, how can I become a champion, how can I become the best bodybuilder of all times, how can I beat everybody, how can I get the most perfect score, win the most trophies, win cash prizes and all that stuff. It was all about me. But then when I got there to be the best and I reached my goal, I turned around and I said, it's not about me now anymore, but it's about the rest of the world, everyone out there. So I decided to go and promote the sport of bodybuilding because I recognized that I got only to be a champion by a lot of help. Reg Park helped me to inspire me. Joe Weider brought me to America. People in America trained with me. Franco Colombo was my training partner. He pushed me all the time. So there was people, my parents helped me, you know, when I grew up to give me the discipline and all of this stuff. Coaches helped me, teachers helped me. So I, I was a product of so much help. So that I felt now is my time to help others. And that's why when I went out and started on this fitness and bodybuilding crusade and I started writing books about uh, training and uh, about bodybuilding. I did seminars all over the world, I did speeches all over the world. We did the documentary pumping on and we kept pushing and pushing and pushing to really let the world know about the sport and then to inspire millions and millions of people to get involved in bodybuilding. So it's an ongoing thing and I will be doing this um, even when I'm six feet under, I hope that I will still be doing it. Uh, so it's like it's, it's like it continues on. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's the most fun thing to do.